I did an Osram W1 versus SFT4D 3K here last time in a Convoy S6 and a M2. This time I'm going to do a quick comparison between the two Osram thrower LEDs, the W1 versus the W2, in another underrated host by Convoy S8. Hey, welcome back to UDC channel, this is Jay. Let's first take a look at this awesome looking host. I wasn't even aware of this model before. There are so many that I was uh, overwhelmed. I like the clean looking S6. This S8 looks more tactical. Especially with the aggressive looking um, heatsink and striking bezel. It's made of the same aluminum material though, instead of a stainless steel. But I really really like the blackout look. I added the an aftermarket low profile clip plus a black metal switch and a green aux to create this uh, green hornet look which I might rotate with this uh, green rubber one I was wondering which short tube to use or look better with the S8 what do you guys think? I'm leaning towards this one Since the knurling is in a different direction, this is more like the um, S2 plus titanium versus the S regular S2 plus aluminium knurling. As for the clip, I much prefer the cleaner looking one over this aftermarket switchback, which is also nice. Anyways, back to the LEDs. I was confused when choosing this in another light as a thrower LEDs, um, W1 versus W2. I ended up using W1, which is a better choice in my opinion. Let's see. This is the flat channel. Yeah, this is the W1. Here's the beam pattern comparison. W1 is tighter, which I think is a better choice if you're looking for a thrower light. And more, uh, uh, a little bit warmer. Okay, let's just see them outside. Okay, let's just see this too. Starting with low. W1, W2. Level 3. Four. Four. Five. Level 3 
W2. Let's take a walk. It's W1. W2 Left W1, right W2. A bit tighter on W1. 